Hey guys, it's Extra in here, and today I'm going to be making a Raksha melee guide. Uh, melee is a very safe style here. I would only recommend it really if you have Masterwork though. Uh, I mean, you can probably do it without it, but it just, with Masterwork, it's just so safe and you, you literally just cannot die. Like, this is probably one of the easiest styles to learn the boss, honestly. So, um, we're going to gear. Dark Magic are very important to use. Uh, just because you don't want to take more damage by using a Zerkara, and Dark Magic just does passive damage no matter what you're doing. Uh, full Trim Master Work set. I'm not using Laceration Boots because I'm not using a 2H at all. And Trim Master Work Gloves, just because I, I like the set effect, and, you know, he's not poisonable or anything. So, yeah, Death Touch Bracelet is a bit better, but, you know, for extra safety, just use Trim Master Work Gloves. Um... A completionist cape, however, you can just use a kiln cape as kiln cape is a bit more damage. Just completionist is a bit more tanky. Uh, Essence of Finale Amulet. It's a very strong amulet even without a special weapon. I highly recommend getting it. However, you can probably just get away with an amulet of souls and you'll do just fine. Uh, I also have a Stasis Warhammer hammer in it because I kind of need to use it currently because he's very tanky against melee and you need a Stasis. And he doesn't regen defense stats that fast at all. So using Stasius is 30% less uh, armor reduction on the target is really powerful. However, you will not need a Stasius really after they nerf him really soon. And But it will still be, be nice. You can probably just get away with Quake. So not really needed. However, the amulet itself is really good. So I highly recommend getting this amulet. Uh, Ring of Death we want to use just because it's just a really all-around good ring with good stats and a very good passive for the fight. Uh, large room house green. Uh, this is just for disruption shield. It's a really good spell for melee as it blocks the hit completely. A main hand cool patch. You can get get away with a main hand drygor. It's not really that big of a difference at all. It's just two tiers and it's not significant. Uh, Cal fight defender. Uh, that's perk. That defender doesn't really matter that much. However, you know, that's all I got right now. So... I the defender is probably the most important part. So yeah, just bring a defender. Superior screw shot, Van Prism, very strong, very good for learning any boss. You can literally kind of just smash your keyboard and not die just by dealing damage and just tanking everything. A drain tank. Uh, I would definitely take this if you're learning. You can use other things like God Books and a Grimoire if you're very comfortable. Uh, Luck of Dwarves for my inventory. Uh, Luck of Dwarves uh, just for after the kill, just to get better loot. Uh, adrenaline earned huge convenience. A, a vulnerability bomb for D, uh, DPS. Uh, maybe not worry about it until you're more comfortable with the boss, as it can be a bit of a hassle to use. As you have to click on the dinosaur, you know, with the bomb, and on the last phase, it's a bit weird to use. Uh, armor spi spikes alloy, very strong. Uh, you need 99 smithing for it, though. I highly recommend getting it. It's just so much DPS for free without even thinking about it. Uh, three restores, just depending on the length of the fight. Some brews just for food. Uh, sailfish, just, you know, just food, honestly. And a, a mammoth full of sailfish. Dreadnips for a little bit of DPS. In, uh, enhanced Excalibur, just for some healing. Ring of Vigor, uh, just for my ultimate, my Zerk. Uh, Elder Overload Salve, just your best overload you have. And an Adrenaline Renewal Flask, just the best Adrenaline potion you have, honestly. So we're going to go right into this. And, uh, well, go to death, uh, Wars Retreat. And before we start this fight, uh, most important abilities is to use Freedom, Anticipation, Resonance, Reflect, and Debilitate. Uh, rotating between Resonance, Reflect, and Debilitate will make you pretty much unkillable and just tank so much damage. And Reflect does good damage by itself. So, uh, just get those key binded or available and just, like, just don't never stack them too. Try use them one at a time. So we're going to go to uh, the boss, enter the instance, pray up with soul split and malevolence. We're going to activate Scrimshaw, put on the rigor ring. We're going to activate our disruption shield, and we're ready to fight the boss. Overload up. We're going to zerk. Zerk up. Barge him into CPS. I'm going to hammer him. We're going to Residence here. I probably should have Residence after I took a hit. Okay, so after four attacks, he's going to do a Tail Whip. Very important to dodge this as melee. Then we're going to Reflect. And just keep DPS him, Threshold him. 
We're gonna also anticipate here. Anticipate. And then he does this little meteor attack in a second. We're also gonna debilitate him, eat up, run away. We're gonna blade dive these pools. We're gonna resonance, blade dive that, blade dive that. Oh, my blade dive actually didn't do damage because I messed up, but it's fine. You can just use abilities and you'll be fine. Reflect and walk away. He's gonna do a tail whip. You can tank that just fine. Keep attacking him. Gonna walk some bleeds on him. We're gonna attack the shadow pools. You don't want the mechanics to happen. We're gonna anticipate here too. Eat up. Here comes a meteor. We're gonna have resonance. Just wanna phase him right now. Just keep on spamming those thresholds. He's phased right now. Disruption shield. Eat up the full. We're gonna run away from these rocks. Don't die. So we're gonna start killing these. Uh, we're gonna reflect and start killing these shadow pools. We can just start, you know, just even just use regular abilities. It's fine. Like we don't even need to use blade dive. I'm gonna surge over here. I'm gonna attack this. We're gonna zerk. Click on these two shadow orbs, and I'm gonna mutate barge. Start DPSing. We're gonna Residence, we're gonna Debilitate. I need to hammer him just because he has high defense. You won't need to though. Just keep a DPS him. He's gonna do a Tail Whip attack in a second, get ready to walk away instantly. Even preemptively is fine. Keep attacking him. More, when he says that, you wanna attack these uh, sh Anima Pools. We're gonna Anticipate as he's gonna stun us in a second, eat up a Reflect, just expand those defensives. Attack the boss. Here comes some three bombs. Run away. We're gonna resonance. Don't be sure not. So yeah, don't be sure not to walk in back into it, like barge into it. We're gonna walk back this way and debilitate him, and attack him. We're gonna disruption shield. Just keep attacking. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by a tail whip. I didn't count, but it's fine. I disruption shield it actually. Attack the boss. We're gonna actually kill these pools. We don't want him to get enraged. We're gonna reflect. We're gonna anticipate. Just attack the boss. Okay, so I didn't do enough DPS. So right here, it's, it's pretty easy. He's just gonna go here and just resonance. And we, uh, you, well, you can also put mage prey in devotion. However, you can also just get away with a debilitate, and you know, if you don't want to, debilitate reflect will make him do really no any no like no damage. He's phased. Run away. Just dodge his rocks. Reflect. Kill these pools instantly. Go over here. Play dive is very nice for this. You can also just click, wait, click, wait, click, wait. Residence. Kill this little uh, lizard thing. I'm going to zerk up. Disruption shield. That was a bad disruption shield. Don't do it when those little hits come in. We're gonna Dren Pot. We're gonna debilitate, eat up. We're not gonna even do a threshold. Do one now though. You always wanna use the ability or reflect when you're just so you don't die, especially if you don't have True Master Work. He's gonna do a Tail Whip attack in a second. Walk. Oh, no, right. He's doing the three Meteor Strikes. Walk away. One, two, three. We're gonna Resonance. We're gonna attack the boss. Reflect. We're gonna do a tail whip next. Just keep thrashing him. We're gonna go run, run away, run away. Even if you tank that, it does not hurt really at all. We're gonna debilitate him and start killing these uh, pools since he just said that little voice line. We're gonna attack. Oh, I didn't kill this pool. There we go. We're gonna just special this thing and kill it. Click on these two shadow orbs. Attack the boss. Disruption shield. And you overload. I, I think my overload has been out of it for a while, actually. I'm gonna anticipate just because I don't really know what he's gonna do. He might do a tail whip. I'm not quite even sure, honestly. Oh, he's doing bombs. So we're just gonna run away. 
You can always just freed him out. Nothing should ever catch you off guard, honestly. After three bombs, let's go back on him. He only does three bombs because he has no enrage. He does more if he gets those the animal pools. We're gonna resonance. We're gonna debilitate. A foam bomb for next phase. We're good. The foam bomb actually missed. <laughs> We're gonna wait a second here. I'm just gonna anticipate and barge him. DPS him a little bit. You can reflect. After two attacks, walk away. Right now, walk away. We had to go really close to him because we're melee. We're gonna uh, well, I don't have to debilitate, so I'm just gonna keep thresholding him. One, two. Walk away after two hits. We're gonna resonance. Keep attacking him. This part, he's just he's gonna do this little shield attack, but we'll be fine. He did only deal 10,000 damage. So now we want to start gathering these little eruption, you know, anima around the. So we're gonna cast reflect. We're gonna anticipate. It's, you can just run around. You can also play a dive and stuff, but I'm just gonna run around just for the sake of the video. We're gonna cast freedom here so we don't get stunned. Eat up resonance. Wait for this rock to fall. We're gonna activate the, the ultimate. Go on him. I'm gonna start DPS him. So after two hits, again, walk away. And just keep attacking him. Keep threshold him get, with all that damage boost. Walk away. You can bomb him again. We're gonna actually reflect though. Oh, I'm not placed that right. You place like right in front of him, it's really hard to honestly. We're gonna debilitate. One, two, walk away. I'm not even zerking here. I mean, honestly, it's probably better for the video anyway. One, two. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna residence. Attack him. Oh, we're gonna DPS him. If you want, you can start zerking and DPSing. I'm just doing that as like, you know, if you don't wanna die, you can just camp defensive and you'll be absolutely fine. So these things are around the map. We can also just start running around. The, the Zerg was honestly not that good just because, well, you're running around now. He's doing that little attack. Just keep running around. We can also ult now and just attack him if you want. Eat up. We got Resonance. Attack the boss. And he's about to die, so put on your Luck of Dwarves. I didn't want to take things out my mammoth. So that's the, that's the kill. I'm going to be honest, it could be a lot faster if you Zerk more. However, you know, for those people, you're wanting to melee and stuff. Uh, that, you know, just don't even really bother Zerking and stuff. Maybe like, you know, during the first phase. This phase is fine. Just because you can take your time with, uh, you know, get the damage boost through uh, the Shattered Shadow Ammo. So I'm honestly not a big fan of that Zerk. That Zerk was also really not that good at the end. It just kind of shows you how sloppy the kill can be. You can still get the kill. And as you go on, you can do more and more kills. This was my first melee kill here, honestly. And I don't typically camp with melee, so it's kind of really weird for me. And also, I have to use Stasis Warhammer, which is a big DPS loss. And um, you won't have to in like 30 minutes from now. So, yeah. Um, I, I mean, that's really it. And... So hopefully it helps. Uh, again, these guys are aimed towards helping people get their kills and sort like you know, getting it down. The the, the it's just the kill took a while just because I'm not really zerking that much in all honesty. Just because you you would take so much damage, but you can start zerking a lot once uh, the the nerf comes through because he's gonna do 1,000 less damage a hit. Uh, he's gonna have less affinity, so you can probably just go absolutely wild on this guy and just DPS him, honestly. So, uh, I would only really do that though if you have uh, master work or just eat a lot. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any video suggestions, uh, feel free to give it to me. So, yeah, bye.